There are some great benefits to using live binders in the classroom. Teachers can use it to create online collections of resources and materials, to collaborate with each other to create common resources for lessons and units, to organize information for research projects, and organize all the resources students need for any project that they happen to be working on. Students can use it to submit completed projects that are more dynamic than your average submitted paper or whiteboard project, and create digital portfolios. There are very few drawbacks to using live binders in the classroom. However, some do exist. Free accounts have a limit on file size, 5 megabytes per file and 100 megabytes per account. So you will need to make sure that your students are aware of this before they start creating content. Some schools have strict regulations on what websites can be accessed from the school's network, so make sure that you have your IT department's okay to access LiveBinders.com, as well as placing their LiveBinder app on your desktop. LiveBinders Term of Service requires an email address for registration in case um, users forget their passwords. Because of this, they have an age restriction for those under the age of 13 um, in order to comply with the COPPA. However, LiveBinders does offer a workaround to allow students to use the site, um, which still protects their personal information.